Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Jae Hong Kim. I am senior technical specialist in Altair. Today's my presentation topic is op optimization, specifically how to perform optimization using Altair FICO. To show how to set up FICO optimization, I try to improve the impedance bandwidth of rectangular patch antenna, as you can see here. The first slide shows the typical antenna design optimization process. Okay, so first of all, we have design specification, okay, such as frequency, gain, VSWR, and so on. So based on the design specification, uh, we first make an initial design. To analyze the initial design, we use software or manufacturing setup. Okay? Uh, but normally, the initial design is quite difficult to satisfy the design specification. So we need to modify the initial design. Okay. EM analysis and modification of EM uh, uh, modification of the initial design need some uh, repetitive term process, which is called optimization. Throughout the optimization process, we are going to have final design, which satisfied your design specification. So to apply the uh, our software figure for your optimization process, you need to understand the following workflow for setting up an optimization in mostly in CAD FICO. So the first step is add an optimization search, define the model parameter, define the mask, define the desired goal. So in this workflow, you need to know important some important terminology, optimization search and model parameters, desired goal, opto pico, and underscore optimum CFX uh, file. So in the workflow, the first step is to add an optimization search uh, to select optimization method. Echo provide many useful optimization method such as simplex particle swarm optimization, genetic algorithm, adaptive response surface method, ALSM, global response surface method, GRSM. And the second step is to select the model parameter. The model parameter is a variable which can uh, change the characteristic characteristic of the uh, of the your model for this example i use length x and length y substrate height offset x as the model parameters the next step is define parameter range uh, which is minimum value of the parameter maximum value and optionally we can also give start value and the final almost the final step in CAD FECO uh, for the optimization setting is define uh, the optimization goal optimization goal is the target uh, which, uh, which is achieved by varying the specific model parameters okay FECO uh, provide many different uh, uh, optimization goals, such as impedance goal, near field goal, far field goal, power goal, received, receiving antenna goal, S parameter goal, transmission reflection goal, and SAR, SAR goal. Those goals should be defined as a request, I mean output beforehand. For this uh, example model, I use voltage source and reflection coefficient to improve the impedance bandwidth. I mean, dB scale value should be less than minus 10 dB. And 
And the next step is to run the optimization by clicking OptiPeco. Okay. Before clicking on the OptiPeco, you can go to Component Launch option okay. uh, to additionally set up OptiPeco running by checking such as delete all files. Delete all files mean you are, you are going to delete all the temporary files which is not necessary. So as I said, I want to show all the optimization process, uh, FECO optimization process with this example model, fin-fed rectangular patch antenna operated, operating between 2.7 and 3.3 .3 gigahertz. And here the optimization goal is to improve the impedance bandwidth, which is, a character, uh, which is defined by the return loss value, whose value should be less than minus 10 dB. And uh, the optimization parameter used for this optimization setting is length x, I mean, here's the initial value. So length x is x dimension of patch antenna. Length y is y dimension of patch antenna. And subset high is the thickness of the patch antenna. And offset x is the location of the feeder from the center of the patch. And so let me uh, play this video to show the older process. So this is the initial design. So you can check the initial value of the parameter length x, length y, 48, and substrate height is 3 thickness, and this one is substrate dimension, and the frequency is 2.7 to 3.3 and 13 frequency points and voltage source is defined at the feeder pin feeding and then as I said the first step is uh, add search and method GRSM and create and next step is you need to go to optimization parameter and then add length x, the initial value is 30, so minimum value is smaller than the initial value and maximum value is larger than the initial value. And the length y is a patch y dimension, right? Initial value is 48. And the substrate height And the initial value is 3, now it's defined between 2 to two, 4. And offset, offset is the location of the feeder. Initial value is 9, here 9, 5 to 13. The goal is, as I said, the improved impedance uh, bandwidth. So impedance goal is defined at the voltage source and the reflection coefficient and then based on peptone impedance and then we are going to use dB scale so take magnitude then take log scale and take uh, multiply by 20 so now the value is dB scale and then the operator is uh, less than minus 10 dB. So, and then over the whole frequency range, okay, 13 point we defined before. And then we can go to component launch option to check the OptiPack option here, delete all file, and then OptiPack. Click on OptiPeco.
So it takes some time. Uh, this is a record version. So I just uh, skip the all the the, um, the execution step here. It's a finish, and we can check the, the optimizers optimize the result with both speaker. So go to first pico. So this is the initial design and we wanna see yeah reflection reflection coefficient in dB scale. Okay, and to clearly check the, the result, we are going to change the axis setting, y axis, minimum value is minus 20 dB, and the grid size 5. Okay, and this is the initial design, and then uh, include the optimized design, patch optimum. This is optimized design and then also similarly and we can look at the reflection coefficient of the optimized design you can see the improve, improve the impedance bandwidth and then we need to finally check optimum design using cat fico let's visit again variable length x is almost 30.3 Length y is almost 40, 39. Subset high is almost 4. And offset x is also changed. I think that's all the process. And so this is the optimization summary. Okay, optimization parameter. Length x is changed from 30 to 30.4. So it gives less or uh, uh, very small effect on the on the antenna impedance bandwidth, and then length y is changed from 48 to 39. Substrate height is changed from 3 to 4, and offset x is changed 9 to 12.8. And then optimization result is actually minus 10 dB reflection coefficient, okay, improved from one and ten to one and seventy megahertz, as you can see here, and then applied the optimization algorithm GRSM, and then we can check the total number of optimization trial uh, from from the log file, as you can see here. I think that's all for today's presentation.